Let's take a look at what's going on in the world now. The U.S. Federal Trade Commission is investigating Facebook documents which indicate the social media giant may have violated its 2019 settlement with the regulatory agency over privacy concerns. According to the Wall Street Journal on Wednesday, the FTC have started looking at international Facebook research that identified all ill effects of the company's product and whether it violated the 2019 settlement agreement. A Facebook spokesperson said the company is more than willing to answer the regulators' questions, adding it will continue to cooperate with government inquiries. In 2019, Facebook agreed to pay a record $5 billion U.S. dollars to the FTC to settle charges of privacy violations over the company's handling of the Cambridge Analytica scandal, where regulators found the company deceived its users about privacy protections while allowing third parties to harvest their data. The COVID-19 pandemic in the U.S. generated massive sales in home appliances and indoor gym equipment due to extensive social distancing schemes. However, it also led to an increase in sales of cigarettes in the country. For the first time in 20 years, the U.S. reported an increase in cigarette sales in 2020, up 0.4 percent on year. While the increase is slight, it's a reversal of a long-running downward trend in sales that the country has been seeing. U.S. adult smoking rates have been on a decline since 2000 and now stand at around 14 percent. While the Federal Trade Commission didn't detail why sales increased in 2020, experts say the rising trend is similar to consumer behavior ushered in by the pandemic. They added that increased isolation, stress and uncertainty caused a perfect storm for substance use disorders such as smoking. In addition to an increase in cigarette sales, Retail alcohol sales also shot up 14% in 2020. Coca-Cola CEO James Quincy said Wednesday that he expects the popular beverage to see sporadic shortages on grocery shelves through 2022. Just like other food and beverage companies, the soft drink giant is dealing with issues with supply chain and higher commodity costs leading to shortages. Quincy added that while shortages may persist through next year, the situation will improve and shortages will significantly decrease over time. He also cited some of the issues the company is facing, including labor shortages, a spike in gas prices in Europe, as well as a fire at a plastic plant in Brazil. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.